In this video, we're going to be looking at the application for a transition move that's in the 24 form. It's right after begin Tai Chi and right before parting the horse's mane. Sometimes it's referred to as embracing the moon, but it's not counted as one of the postures in the 24 form. After you finish begin Tai Chi, the right hand sweeps over the top, the left comes underneath, and you step in with the left foot. Now what you want to do is practice it on both sides. So you would step back out to begin Tai Chi, the end of that. Your left hand is going to come over the top, the right is going to come underneath, and you're going to step in with the right foot here. So you want to do that on both sides. Here to the left, and here to the right. Because you want to be ambidextrous with your moves, you don't want to just be able to do them on one side. So with this, we can combine the application of this embracing the move transition posture with one of the applications for begin Tai Chi. Now that application would be where you bring the hands up, palms facing each other, bring the hands down, palms facing each other. So if he throws a punch with his right hand, I'm going to do this, palm facing in toward my center line, to deflect his punch. As I'm doing that, I'm going to move off the line of attack and step up so I'm standing right next to him. So I'm going to go here. Notice how I use that to help turn his body, keeping Pung and that begin Tai Chi deflection. And I'm standing so my body is facing him. So I'm not facing the direction, I'm not facing behind him, I'm facing toward him. I'm going to take this left hand, I'm going to push down at the base of his spine to move his hips forward. As I do that, I'm going to take this hand under his chin, I'm going to move back, and I'm going to tip down. And the idea is this. Right? So you push the hips forward, you push the chin back, where the head goes, the body's going to follow, and you throw him down. Again, if you're working with someone that can't fall or doesn't feel like falling right now, you don't need to take it all the way to the throw. You can tip them back till you start to have their balance and then stop and reset. Every now and then it's a good idea to do the throw, but make sure that the person you're doing this move with understands that it's going to the throw and that you're not just throwing them on the ground. So again, you have the begin Tai Chi deflection. Using that Pung, you can lead it out a little bit as you step in. Now your body is facing them. They're turned to the side. So my body is on this plane. His body is on this plane. I'm going to come over the top of this arm that I deflected toward his chin. And what you don't want to do is like grab for the throat. You can do that, but that's not going to get you the same effect. Because if I push at his throat, he may go back, but it's not going to tip him as easily. If I push his chin up, it's going to change his balance and his structure. So I want to come under the chin, push this up, push in to the lower back so it changes his structure here, and then I just continue that with a continuing down with the right, continuing up with the left, so that it throws him back and down. And of course you want to practice that on both sides. So if he throws a punch with the left, I use this Gen Tai Chi deflection, and I'm going to step off the line and close to him. So it comes out, I step here, this hand, comes under his chin, this hand goes to his lower back. Now when I say lower back, here's his hips right here. You don't want to go up here in the lower back. The lumbar vertebrae, you're not going to be able to change his hips a lot. You actually want to go a little bit lower and it can be a little uncomfortable, so make sure that you have the permission of the person you're working with. But you want to go to the sacral region and push that, because that's going to change his structure. If you push at the sacral region, it tips the hips. If you push at the lower back, you might be able to sway their back a little bit, but it's not going to change the hip structure the same. So you go to the sacral region, you push to change his structure at the hips, which is going to change the structure all the way through his spine. So you push here, you come underneath here, you tip back, and you have that. So that's your embracing the moon posture from the Tai Chi 24 form. You see it in other forms as well. So the attack that we used was just a straight punch, and you deflect and step in for the tip. You can use different attacks. The more you become aware of defensive moves in your Tai Chi forms, you can apply those with various attacks and change up how you're getting to this application, and that's a great idea to do. For this video, we're just gonna stick with that one attack because we're really wanting to focus on the move itself, the application of that, and then you can find different ways to get to that application. And we'll probably do other videos in the future where we explore some of those other options. So one thing that I would like to point out is when he throws his punch with his right hand, I want to go to the outside of his body. So if I do my deflection and come in here, I can't do that same tip and this hand is available for another attack. So if I go toward his center line, 
after I deflect, it's not going to be easy for me to get to this move and I'm in more danger. If I go away from his center line, so I'm going outside of his body, now I'm facing his side. Rather than his front, I'm facing his side and I can easily get to this move. You have the option of coming over the top of his arm, or if his arm's up high, you can come underneath too and do this same move to tip him back. But the important thing is, as he throws this punch, I want to go to this side. I want to be in here. I don't want to be in here. So this puts me in danger from his other fist. This keeps me relatively safe. There's other things he can do from here, but this is a safer place to go. So what I've shown you is he punches with the right, and I use my right to deflect. That lets me open up, come over the top, tip the chin, lower back with the left hand. You also have the option with this begin Tai Chi deflection to use the left hand to come across. Now if you do that, you're going to have to switch the hand somehow because this left hand needs to go to his lower back. So one thing I can do is keep that contact so his elbow can't get to me, step in close, and then switch them here after I'm past his elbow. Another thing that I can do is deflect here and push this down, which is probably going to be the safest option, keep this full so he can't get to me with his elbow, move in, and then move the left hand to the lower back to finish this. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.